Hey, I'm Doug from Comphology, and in this video, we're going to talk more about using ThriveCart with Thrive Apprentice. In our last video, we talked about using upsells to create a sales funnel for Thrive Apprentice products, memberships, cohorts, and things like that. And in this video, we're going to look at the mechanics of using order bumps with ThriveCart and Thrive Apprentice. We're gonna start off back inside our demo product, and this is a demo version of Comphology Pro, which is my membership that has all of my courses and community. So for our base product, we've set up our pricing already. And next, we just want to go to the bump tab. So we'll hit next again. And we need to check the box to enable order bumps for this product, and we're going to choose digital. Now we give our order bump a name. So in this example, I'm selling my Convology Pro membership. So maybe a good order bump to this would be a coaching call, maybe at a discounted price. So we'll just add in coaching call with Doug. And normally my coaching calls are $199. So let's say that if they purchased the order bump with this, we'd give it to them for $149. And then we can choose whether or not the order bump is selected by default. I personally like to leave this off because when somebody goes to buy a product, they're expecting to buy that product and not the order bump. So I feel like this is just courteous um, or polite to not check this by default. Now we're not done yet, especially if we're going back to edit an existing product. We still have to move on to our fulfillment tab. So go ahead and click next a couple more times or at the top, click fulfillment. Now here you can see that we have the default of what was already set up for our product. And if you're setting yours up for the first time, you would want to on the right hand side where it says what should happen after purchase, you want to add them to your membership site, Thrive Apprentice, configure your Thrive Apprentice course. I have a whole Thrive Apprentice funnel tutorial on the channel here with Thrive Cart and Thrive Apprentice. I'll link that in the cards up below the little info icon in the top right where you can watch that. But you want to get that all set up. And here's where some things have changed since we've enabled order bumps. If we look down below where it says select the course to apply for a bump purchase. Now, if you watched my last video, I talked about how this is one of the nuances of using ThriveCart. Well, it's back with order bumps. And if you haven't watched that previous video, let me quickly explain. When you have a front end product, in this case, this is what we're editing, our front end product, our, our base product that somebody came to purchase. When you have a front end product that adds a user to a membership site, all of the other things you're selling with this product must be like products. They must also be membership fulfillment products in this case. So in our case, we are going to sell a $149 coaching call. We simply can't just tack on $149 if they check the box. We have to choose something that's going to happen. Thankfully, Thrive Apprentice is really flexible and products are incredibly flexible. Products can add people to courses. Products can add people to just a page on our website. Products can also do literally nothing at all. You can create a product. In our case, you can see I have a ton of them here and a lot of old deprecated ones that no longer work. But in this case, you can add them to a product that does nothing. So I created a product called Test. It literally does nothing. If people get added to that, who cares? Because it literally does nothing. So in this case, I could create an empty shell product or I could create one called Coaching Clients or Coaching Calls or something like that. It really doesn't matter. Also, my base product or my front end product, as Thrivecart calls it, is Convology Pro. So I could also just choose Convology Pro. In fact, that's what I typically do. I just line it up with the same product and there's no problem there. Now, all the remaining options are the default ones when we set up our product in the beginning, revoking access if they cancel, and then linking them to a confirmation page. I know Thrivecart calls this the login URL, but this is the confirmation page. And again, I have all the details on that inside of that funnel video that I mentioned before. So that's it for the mechanics of setting up an order bump. Let's go ahead and click next or at the top, make our way to checkout because we need to make some edits to our checkout page now that we have an order bump. Go to the design tab and click launch editor. I already had my page built, but if you're building yours for the first time, you can go through the process of using ThriveCart's page builder. It's actually pretty good. You can build just about anything you want. I'm not a designer. I tend to stick to something really, really basic. This actually works well for me. I have a great conversion rate. I have no problem with this. Most of what Thrivecart has right out of the box works great. Now, what we're looking for is the order bump info here on the right hand side. They've automatically added this section here in the dotted lines because we enabled an order bump on this product. If I click on it, you'll see on the left hand side, I've activated some settings. I have a heading that I can turn on and a subheading, body text, 
an image if I want one. And then I have control over background colors and dotted lines and things like that. If I go right onto the page in the inline editing, I can change this text here. In our example, we're doing an order bump for a coaching call. I would recommend you use a headline that's descriptive of what they're going to get. And what I really like about this sub headline, this is where you could say something like, you know, normally $199, but today for $149, whatever you want. I said, I'm not a designer. I'm also not a copywriter. And then you can describe the upsell and then you can add an image to the section if you want one. It's super easy to customize this and get this looking really great. Oh, one thing I did want to show you, I really like this. So I'm going to take just an extra second here. If I scroll down, if I click on the order bump section and then I, I scroll down here on the left hand side, uh, you can choose whether or not the toggles on the left or the right. And you can also choose whether or not it's a toggle or a checkbox. I thought that was pretty cool. And you can toggle on this obnoxious arrow that looks like it's from 2008. So <laughs> we'll leave that off. Maybe that helps your conversion rates. I don't know. But when you're all done, you can click save and exit. All right, that was actually really, really easy. I feel like every time I make one of these videos about using Thrivecart, particularly with Thrive Apprentice, I kind of have that same theme, right? That was really, really easy. Look how fast I'm able to do that. And look how great it is to now have something set up that's going to help you in your business. I've gone ahead and included a link down below to Thrivecart. If you're not already a user, I highly recommend it. It pays itself back so quickly. And in fact, I think they even have like a guarantee where it's going to pay itself back or you get your money back. If you have any questions about Thrivecart or Thrive Apprentice, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.